You want to know where Indian destitution comes from? You want to know why our lifespans are truncated accordingly? You want to know why our children are so desperate that they are committing suicide at 13 times the national average? You want to know why all those things come together? There's a county on the Pine Ridge Reservation, Shannon County. Shannon County has been the absolute poorest county in the United States for 50 of the last 50 years. And by poorest, I don't mean unable to afford to get the new color TV, gee whiz, I can't trade my truck. I'm talking about a per capita income of less than $3,000 per year to try to survive South Dakota winters. I'm talking about an unemployment rate that runs into the 90th percentile every year. I'm talking about a life expectancy that's one-third shorter, generation in, generation out, than the average American. One-third truncation of a lifespan, and that's the overall data with regard to reservation-based Native North America. Urban-based is not appreciably better. That's 35th percentile attrition of the population every generation for the last five generations. I don't know how you define a genocidal impact of policy imposition, but that comes real close in my book, okay? I call it genocide. What I said was, when you treat people this way, when you kill their babies as a matter of course and say it has no consequence, when you devalue, demean, and degrade others to this point, naturally and inevitably, what you're putting out will blow back on you, and that's what happened on that day. If you want to be secure, if you want to be able to live a human life in all of its full dimension, if you want to have the security of that to pass along to your children, if you want to be valued, in other words, as a human being, I don't want to get biblical here, but do unto others as you would expect to have done unto yourself. That's my first proposition. from that natural and inevitable response to what it is America's putting out in the world, start with stopping killing all their babies. Yeah. Afford them the fundamental dignity of being human, not collateral damage. America's been able to provide the world with an endless stream of glowing rhetoric, but how on that basis, since they violated all of it, since they've always said one thing and acted precisely the opposite, is anyone out there going to believe anyone here if those assurances are made? Here's my real crushing blow. This is the radical finale of the whole thing. Let's just try pretending for a moment that the United States of America, like every other entity on the planet, is bound to obey the law.